Hey, I'm Rick Steves, back with more of the best of Bellingham and Whatcom County. When I'm not in Europe, I live here in culturally rich Washington state. Here in the heart of Bellingham's charming Fairhaven district, you can see and feel how this inviting city has more than its share of art and culture. Of course, it all began with the area's indigenous people and their heritage is alive today in the work of local artists like the Lummi Nation's Rena Priest. She's Washington state's poet laureate. The vibrant creative spirit of the Pacific Northwest really shines brightly here. You'll find a scene rich with artists, craftspeople, storytellers, and theatrical experiences that interpret how the cultures of this seaside frontier have mixed and mingled through the ages. This top corner of Washington State feels incredibly removed, yet it's surprisingly accessible, whether by plane, train, or automobile. Once you're here, you'll be enchanted with the culture that varies by community, from the Dutch and agricultural influences in Linden to the pioneering riverside spirit in Ferndale. The coastal city of Bellingham has two distinct cultural districts within its city limits, and I'm exploring Fairhaven. Okay, yeah. so a visitor comes to Bellingham and Whatcom County, and there's a lot of great things to have on your list. If you're coming to the Fairhaven district, what would people what should people know about to enjoy the cultural and the artistic offerings of this Fairhaven district? Yeah, I would say the thing that I love about it is that the businesses are independently owned and operated. Right. There are no chain stores here, no franchises. Yeah. And almost in every single shop, you will find locally um, created and produced items and artists mm -hmm. being represented. Like the spirit of Whatcom County, the spirit of Bellingham, really live in Fairhaven. So now this is the town commons. This is, yeah, this is where um, we're here early in the day so that many people uh -huh. are around. But if you come later this afternoon, oh, it'll yeah. be packed with people. Yeah. Perfect to uh, people and, and a venue for little concerts and plays. And concerts and, and Saturday evening movies in the summer. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really great. Well, it's so nice to talk to you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, best wishes. And I think I'm just gonna hang out with Mark Twain here. Excellent. Okay, see you, Scott. Later. The culture of a place can mean many things, and you can immerse yourself in many ways. History, maritime culture, and wildlife education can be enjoyed all at the same time when you crew on the schooner Zodiac or go whale watching, both of which depart here from a pier near Fairhaven. A short drive or bike ride along Bellingham Bay brings you to downtown Bellingham and its arts district, where you can feel the electricity at the Spark Museum step back in time into a 1920s movie palace with its original pipe organ, take a walking tour with costume guides who boast signature sass, or explore Native American exhibits and modern arts at the Whatcom Museum. This downtown area is crowned by several historic buildings, including the old city hall. So if there was a little publication that was the arts this week in Whatcom County, in a good week, what might I be able to choose from? You'd probably be able to choose from a Melvin's concert at the Wild Buffalo, some live theater with Idiom Theater over at the Sylvia Center for the Arts. You'd get to see an improv show um, with the Upfront Theater. You might get up to Linden and to the Jansen Art Center and go check out their amazing galleries that they have there. They have sculptors and painters and other artists that are creating work there. They also have a, an amazing music hall for acoustic music. And then we have the Jazz Center of Bellingham producing amazing jazz shows every single week. So you've got a community of artists that are working together to celebrate mm -hmm. the arts, and you have a community that understands the importance of, of uh, patronizing it. And then you've got tourists coming in like me that want to do something tonight. <laughs> it works out. It does work out. <laughs> That's nice. Let's hear a short poem from local writer Rena Priest. She's the state of Washington's first indigenous poet laureate and a member of the Lummi Nation. A salmon is a song sung in rounds, a series of concentric circles, like a raindrop in the sea, rippling out and returning. A series of concentric circles, a chorus and a verse, rippling out and returning in a shining body of treasure. 
a chorus and a verse, a hero home from adventure, in a shining body of treasure, bearing gifts from the deep, a hero home from adventure, like a raindrop on the sea, bearing gifts from the deep, a salmon is a song sung in rounds. Thanks for joining me on this journey to experience the dynamic art and artists that make a visit to this northwest corner of my home state so rewarding culturally. The creativity and the native cultures on display up here in Bellingham and Whatcom County have inspired me, and I hope they've inspired you as well. Happy travels! <laughs>